people are gonna lose their mind when they see this. Oh my god, oh my god. Where are you? I wish. Oh, no, no, so good. Oh. Hi guys, it's Sarah, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing really, really well wherever you are. Today in Newcastle is really lovely and I'm really excited because it is launch day for Christmas. I, it's just the best time of year, other than Halloween, obviously. All the stuff is in front of me, it smells amazing. It is the 22nd of September, so that means everything is launched online, so you can go and have a little sneaky peek, maybe add some things to your basket. But tomorrow on the 23rd, everything comes out in store. I really recommend going into your local shop and having a smell and seeing everything in person because some of this stuff this year is incredible. There's a couple absolute winners here and I'll tell you at the end of the video which ones are my top picks and which are my favourite things. What I'm going to do is, like last year, it is a long video so I really recommend getting yourself a nice drink, some snacks, maybe revisiting this video multiple times and um, you know giving yourself some breaks if you can't sit through because it is going to be a long one. I've got a drink here and a cup of tea. I am a bit hoarse. I'm not very well. You know who you are who's made me poorly. Um, shout out to you. So I'm going to go through section. I'm going to take you through all the bath stuff first and then the shower and, and the fragrance and things like that. I'm going to keep gifts separate and I'm going to break it down further to keep bath and, get, and shower gifts separate. So again, if you're only shopping with someone with a shower, you don't need to see bath stuff and vice versa. So yeah, shall we get into the products? Shall we see what everything is? Because I'm excited. Are you excited? <laughs> oh, right, let's go. <laughs> so, what are we going to go for? Oh, it smells good. Right, stop smelling the bag and just get it out of the bag so people can see. Here we go. Here is the first one for Christmas 2021. This is Hey Hollywood. It is full of peppermint oil. It is bright green with like this lovely metallic sheen to it with little uh, hollies on top. I did think this was gonna smell like holly gold lightly, not gonna lie when I looked at it, but it doesn't. It smells like salt and peppermint bark. Do you remember that scrub from a few years ago? So kind of like a sweet and, well, like a sweet and salty uh, pe peppermint smell, like a candy cane or an iced mint. Um, just absolutely delicious. And I can really smell this through my nose, which is saying something because I've got a really blocked nose. So if you are feeling a bit bleh or got a cold, this is gonna really help like invigorate there. I don't know how well you can see, but it's got some little pink speckles on here. It does have a bright pink center and it's a slow fizzing bath bomb. So it's gonna create some incredible bath art for you guys who'd like to take pictures of all your bath bombs in the water. This one is $5.95 and it is, I think I might actually have this in my bath tonight. It smells so bloody good, like so good. Oh my God. Oh. So this, this smells, I, can, I must, my cold must be getting better because I can really smell things. This is orange pop. And it looks a little bit familiar. It looks a little bit like so white but orange. It smells so good. It smells like orange scrub, bright side bubble bar, repeat foot bomb. But this smells even more orangey. It's like they've squeezed orange juice in here. Now I've seen some pictures of this demoed online because I know some people got their advent calendars and they couldn't wait and they opened them up. Um, and this has got a bright red center. It's very unusual for us to have like red bath bombs. Um, so it makes some lovely orangey red waters. It smells so good. Like I really want to lick it. It smells almost like an orange icicle, like ice pop, ice, ice cream, like an orange ice cream. Popsicle. That's what I was wanting to go for. So this is $3.95. You have popping candy, you have Sicilian red mandarin oil, tangerine oil, bergamot oil, Brazilian orange oil, and you've got some cornstarch in there as well. So you've got the nice theatrics there of the popping candy to go with all the amazing bath art. And $3.95, there's some really good price points in the uh, bath range this year, so you're on for a winner now. I don't want you. I wanted to smell, I want to show everyone this one. Oh, there we go. 
No, that's not you. Though I do want to show everyone you because you're really cute. Is this? Does anybody else do this? Does anybody else talk to their bath bombs? Is this just me? Am I weird? Uh, yeah. Sorry about the ramblings there. So next up we have. It's a classic. It's a returning favourite but it looks different. This is Golden Pudding, and it is the same smell as Golden Wonder Bath Bomb, except this year, instead of being a present, it is a yummy pudding, so you've got the little holly on top. Really, really, really traditional and Christmassy. Um, great for people like me who don't like Christmas pudding. I can have a pudding in my bath instead. So it's still got that lovely hand sprayed gold luster on there. It still smells like Golden Wonder with that kind of fruity, zesty cocktail kind of a smell. So you've got lime oils and tangerine oils, so very brightening on the skin. Um, you've got wine lees oil this time instead of cognac oil. It still smells lovely and boozy like a little drunk party in the bath. Instead of being blue inside, it is like a pinky colour, so you do get a nice rose gold effect because of all that glitter. I'm just going to rub this shimmer on, shimmer on me there. And this is 5 95 It is quite heavy and no rattles because obviously it's not a present anymore but that is that one there now this it's gonna be this is gonna be one of my favorite bath bombs i've only bought one i'm waiting for payday and i'm gonna buy a, like an absolute ton of these i cannot wait there you are oh my god it smells so good more things should smell like what's in this bag I wonder if anyone can guess what it is. No, you, you won't be able to guess. I don't know why I'm getting people to guess. This is Snowball, okay? And I don't know how well you can see this. I'm gonna try and get this on camera so you can kind of see the texture of it. Yeah. So this is actually a hand-pressed bath bomb. So, you, so it's supposed to look like as if, like a real snowball, like you've rolled it up yourself. It smells like Outback Mate. So you've got eucalyptus, peppermint oil, lemongrass oil. Again, really good if you've got a blocked nose. Um, really good if you're feeling a bit, ooh, and you want like that pick me up. It has got, I don't know again how well you can see, but there is blue speckles on here. And you've got this beautiful deep blue center, which creates the most stunning bathard. Again, this is a slow fizzing bath bomb, but it is amazing and it's full of sparkles as well. So it's really, really, really like an icy winter wonderland. Kind of a little nod to snowballs outside. I really hope it snows this Christmas. I really, really, really want some snow. And it's 4 95 and it's quite heavy. I mean, I wouldn't like it thrown off my head. The only thing I want thrown off me is an actual snowball. And I've lost its bag. There's its bag. Now, this one I think is going to be really popular. Um, I just think it's the cutest thing ever. Last year, and um, it's gonna return. It's gonna return in a second. We had a really cute animal Christmas bath bomb, but this year, he's got a contender, and this is Sleepy Bear. How cute! I'm gonna show you. So you've got here. He's a he's 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 chunky. And he's got that beautiful sleepy smell. He's got purple sprinkles on his back, and he's just having a little snooze. He's having a little lie down on the on on the on the snow, and he's just having a little little sleep because he's a little sleepy bear. This is a lovely alternative to if someone's already had butter bear, if they've already had snowman dreaming, if they've already had the hippo, but they want a new smaller bath bomb to try out. If they've got sensitive skin, this would be perfect. Lavender, tonka oils, really dreamy, creamy and relaxing. This would be a nice Christmas Eve uh, box present uh, to get the kids wound down for Christmas, pop a little bit like for Santa, pop a little bit of dream cream on, absolutely. And he's just so cute, man. Look how cute he is. Like, <sighs> his little face. So this is only $2.95, so it's on the same same price point as your hippo, but he feels a little bit bigger than the hippo. You've actually got rice starch and oatmeal in here as well, so lovely and soothing, again, on sensitive skin. Oh, now this one, where are you? Yes, this one, as soon as I've seen it, and I'm not a girly, girly type person, but as soon as I saw this, I was like, this is a really special, pretty bath bomb, and this is You Shall Go To The Ball. If you are, a Disney fan, if you like Cinderella, 
well, now you can have a bath bomb little carriage to your bath. And this is Castle in the Cloud scented. It's got a nice, it's like a baby pink colour sprayed with like gold luster. And Castles in the Cloud is a really lovely smell. It also reminds me of super milk, the smell as well. It gives me like super milky type of vibes. It just makes a lovely foamy bath art. If you remember like Angel's Delight bath bomb, like that lovely bright pink water like that. Um, it is only $4.95. We've got in here um, Sicilian lemon oil, Tonka Absolute, soybean flour. We've got some of the sparkles as well. So the soybean flour adds some softness to the water. Uh, and also makes the skin feel nice and silky and soft as well. Oh, this one I'm going to have to assemble. So give me two seconds. It smells really good and it's really cute. And I think, again, people are going to lose their mind when they see this. This is adorable. Okay, so the next one, after I've just assembled it. It's Santa's magic sleigh. Beep, beep. He's on his way. How cute is that? It's three bath bombs in one. It's $5.95. You've got Butter Bear, keeping Santa company. And can I just point out that every single one has a different smell? So Butter Bear, I'm just gonna smell everything separately to make sure that I know which one's which. So you've got Snow Fairy in the sleigh. You've got the Comforter in Santa. And then you've got, of course, the Butterball smell in the little bear keeping him company. I think I'm gonna just put that over there. Um, this would be, again, a nice Christmas Eve box little gift. It does say Lush on the front, though. I've, I've chinned my uh, my Santa sleigh there. I've, I don't know how well you can see the Lush there. I dropped, kicked him into next week but quite a size for only $5.95. So you could get three baths out of that, or if you've got, you know, a few people wanting to have a different bath on Christmas Eve, they've all got something to have. I'm gonna pop you there, Santa, and you can keep an eye on the candle and everyone else. And I've made a right mess. Ooh, where are you? Where are you? This one, so, a little bit of snow fairy corner here, but this is a new looking one. <sighs> Do you know what it is? Even though I've got the, the body spray, like you forget how good like a fresh snow fairy smells. This smells unreal. So this is snow fairy lights. I don't try not to uh, potentially destroy it. Rattle it here. Can you hear that? Something inside. Open that up, and you've got, I'm gonna pour some out, little mini bath bombs. Is loads of mini confetti bath bombs. I don't know how, it's all a bit blurry, sorry. Um, you, so you literally, a bit like the um, Love Locket bath bomb of like a few Valentine's Day ago, just take the lid off, sprinkle it in, and then you could have the lid and those sprinkles as a bath. Or you could do what I do, because I'm greedy, uh, sprinkle it all in, and then hoi everything else in it for a super rainbow pink, colourful bath. It smells really good. It's 750, and it just, oh, it's got cornstarch in there. You've got icing sugar, marshmallow root powder. It just, this smells so lovely. And obviously you've got a little bit of sparkle as well. It smells really, really good. Next up we have, a returner from last year, one of my favourite ones from last year. Small, but one of the best smells ever. And it is, I want a hippopotamus for Christmas. I'm loving all these little animal bath bombs that Lush have been bringing out over the past, well, since last year. But I just love this hippo. He's got little wrinkles on his neck because he's all chubby, for probably from eating loads of mince pies. It's got stars on his back for a little bit of fun in the bath. And of course, you know why I like this smell. You know why I like it. 
it's space girl scented. So if you remember very, very frightening shower gel from a couple of Christmas ago, uh, sorry, from last Halloween. Um, if you've had the raspberry blower bubble bar, that is the same smell. It is just this lovely fruity tropical smell. It's $2.95. It makes a, what, a lovely dark purple smell. It's just a fab little stocking filler. It's a fun little bath bomb and it just smells so good. And the water, like I say, just turns this beautiful deep purple colour. So for something so small, it makes the bath like lovely and purple and just delicious. And just, I wish I could eat it. Oh my God, imagine it's a, a, a Space Girl lip scrub. <laughs> I'd just be in my element. <laughs> right, bag, where's your little house? Here's your little house. You go and be friends with Sleepy Bear. It also has pop and candy in there as well. I keep forgetting it has pop and candy and Andy Santa's Magic Sleigh also has pop and candy in there as well. I'm terrible at remembering things. Next up, ah, uh, it's a returner, but they've had a facelift. It's Butter Bear. So, oops. So Butter Bear this year is a very, very, very light pink color or even purple. Kind of matches my jumper. Like. Oh, we're on trend together. Still got that amazing um, kind of vanilla smell with cocoa butter in there. It's still fantastic for sensitive skin, but obviously they get a little bit of color in the water as well. And I'm right there. I don't know how well you can see, but it's a massive chunk of cocoa butter, like right there. And I think like all year round, Butterball kind of gets forgotten about for all the fancy ones, but Butter Bear, it's his time to shine right now. I'm doing a terrible job. I'm focusing on him, forget about it. He's only 2 95 and it just smells so good. You've got synthetic musk in there, your lang your lang, and your fair trade organic cocoa butter. Um, synthetic musk, if you didn't know, is a safe uh, synthetic alternative to regular musk. Regular musk comes from deer's bum glands. It still gets that lovely smell, but without hurting any deers. And it's nice that Butter Bear has some friends this, you know, over the past few years, because he made friends with the Hippo last year, and now he's got Sleepy Bear, so he's got another bear to play with. And he's got another Butter Bear friend as well, with Santa. Then, again, another returning one, which is not what I was expecting this to be. We've got another returning uh, bath bomb. Oh, oh it smells so good. And this is Snowman Dreaming. I don't know if they've slightly changed his face, but I feel like I can see his face more and he's really got a big grin on him right there. He's got a big old happy smile and he's a rainbow bath bomb. So there's also out for Halloween, um, you've got the ghostly bath bomb, which is rainbow, but without the yellow uh, color and Toby magic and Toby's magic cow. So if you do have someone in your life that you're buying some Christmas presents for and they have sensitive skin, I really recommend this, the uh, Toby's Magic Cow, Butter Bear, Sleepy Bear, they're gonna add some fun to the bath but not be like super uh, harsh on the skin so they can still enjoy some fizziness. This creates such a, some, some absolutely lovely bath art for such a small little bath bomb. And it's only three pounds 50. And you've got in here lavender oil, you've got cedarwood oil, um, and you've got your cornstarch as well. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just, No, very. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. She's back. Snowberry is back. Again, with the blue and the pink on either side. Lots of sparkles. Turns a bath bright pink. Mmm. Synthetic musk. Persian lime oil. And just that iconic candy floss smell. Yes. No more to say about that other than it's $4.95. Oh, one that I've forgotten to buy, but I'll put a picture of up here, is Shoot for the Stars. I bloody love that bath bomb. How have I forgotten to buy that one? Well, good job, Sarah. Um, Shoot for the Stars is a Honey I Wash the Kids scented bath bomb. So that lovely kind of caramel, or caramel, honey, orange smell. It's just really, really yummy, but it's vegan. No honey in the actual bath bomb. You've got three large cocoa butter 
bath oils. So if you are missing your bath oils, they are inside that bath bomb and they're nice and chunky and they make the skin lovely and soft. It does have a bit of gold sparkle in there and it turns the bath a deep magical blue with the gold sparkle shifting through, kind of looking a little bit like um, star, Starry Starry Sky, I think that's called by Van Gogh, you know that, that painting, I'll just put that there, butchered the name of that. Um, but it kind of looks like that in the bath. It's just a lovely bath bomb and again if your skin gets dry around Christmas time, that moisture from the bath oils will do a really really good job and it smells like honey I wash the kids and it's iconic and it's back again and it's 4.95 I'm really bad <laughs> I feel like I've smelt too many bath bombs now we've got another returner my camera stopped fantastic uh, this is jingle bells jingle bells but it's changed its scent this year and it's baked Alaska scented so listen to this oh yeah so you've got coarse sea salt in there you've got Rice starch, you've got your lemon myrtle oil, your langy lying oil, and grapefruit oil. It is super punchy, super fresh, um, and then obviously that sea salt is going to help soothe any aching muscles. The rice starch is going to really help kind of make the skin lovely and soft. It's just a nice, uplifting bath bomb. It's red on the outside, red and white on the outside, it's blue on the inside, it creates lovely, foamy, foamy bath art. I really love the colour of, of, of that bath bomb. Oh, ho, 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 now we're on to bubbles, bub, bub, bubbles, and this is my favourite bubble bar of the year, and it's a new bubble bar, don't know why I'm singing, I'm a little bit fuzzy off all the fumes, oh, yeah, it's good, double sniff, double sniff, and this is cinnamon roll, oh my god, it is the best thing ever. Why they've waited so long to, be, to bring this out. So it pretty much smells like hot toddy. I'm not gonna lie, it pretty much smells like glog or hot toddy. It is super winter warmer, spicy deliciousness. And you're not gonna get three to four good baths out of this. So you have got in here, loads of um, cinnamon leaf oil, clove leaf oil, lime oil, Brazilian orange oil, benzoin resin oil, patchouli oil, fair trade organic cinnamon powder, clove powder, super stimulate on the skin. If you have aches and pains, if you want like a super autumnal winter warmer bath, this is the one for you with all these stimulating oils. Oh my god, I wish you could smell how good it smells. Well you'll have to see uh, when you come in the store uh, because it smells so good I'm gonna be buying quite a few of these it's 5 95 so it's the same price as all the other swirly bubble bars it is just absolutely redonkulous I haven't felt this way about a Christmas bubble bar since the yognog sliced um, bubble bar so it looked like a Battenberg that you cut that was my hands down one of my favorite bubble bars that Lush brought out for Christmas um, and I've not felt a way about a bubble bar until until this one because it just smells so damn good so damn good okay next up we have the north pole bubble bar but there's been an accident i've killed it um, this is what it would look like like so I'm waiting for my camera to focus on it and not me um this is such a cute little one it literally looks like the north pole sign stuck in a mound of snow Oh my, oh my god, oh my god. Oh, that is, smells so good. What, what is that smell? It smells like a bit like punch, but like different. Mmm, yeah, it's like punch, but like spicy. Oh my god, that smells amazing. So it's a two in one, sorry. I'm just having a moment just smelling how freaking amazing this smells. Oh my god, it's yeah. So this is a bubble bar on the bottom and then you've got a bath oil on the top. Again, this is fantastic for the person who misses the bath oils. I miss the bath oils. I would like the bath oils to come back. But you can have that with this bubble bar. So you would crumble the bubble bar, let all them silver swirly water you know, do its thing, and then you would add in that golden North Pole sign um, to make the skin lovely and soft. Now, what do we have in here? Because I, do, I, I don't really know anything about this bubble bar. 
sorry I'm a bit bunged up we have fair trade organic cocoa butter we have Brazilian orange oil club oil cassia oil divana oil and you've got caranuba wax yeah the divana oil really does make it juicy I always talk about divana oil making things juicy it really does make it so juicy and just delicious that is on par that is on par with the cinnamon roll why can't this be bigger oh my god that smells so good so good right so next up oh another little little minty number next up there's a clue for you is a candy cane this is 450 and it's had a little revamp so it's white and pink or pink and white and it is minty this year so it's got your bergamot oil and lemon oil but it also has peppermint oil in there so it literally smells like a candy cane that you would put on the tree it is so lovely and it's about time that it's minty <laughs> i think because it smells really really good and this is a reusable bubble bar instead of a crumbly one, so you're going to hold this under the tap to get your bubbles instead of crumbling it. You should get about, oh, I would say like three or four baths out of that. The North Pole one uh, from before, I would say like one luxurious bath. Two if you're a bit more frugal, but definitely just one bath out of that one. Then we have... Da -da 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 -da. Snow Fairy Bubble Roll. There's two versions this year. You've got the normal size for $5.95, and then you've got ding, the jumbo size. Yeah, she's massive. Um, I know she's not actually in my hand, and I'm just putting a picture here, but she's about the size of like a plate. Yeah, makes about 15 baths, maybe a bit more if you're doing cocktails. That one is £20. Pink and white, lovely bright snow fairy pink waters. Can you believe that snow fairy is 16 years old this year? It was uh, 15th birthday last year, of because she's 16 this year, but really gorgeous, sweet smells, just that iconic snow fairy scent. And I would say like three to four good size baths out there. And I do remember really enjoying the snow fairy bubble roll last year. Like the bubbles were lovely and creamy and fluffy. I did like the star wand because it, it looked really lovely, but the bubbles are richer in the in the roll form than, than, the, than the wand form. That's just my opinion. And again, you've got in your Persian lime oil and your synthetic musk. Is that all of bath? It can't be all of bath. It is all of bath. Oh my God. We've just gone through all of the bath stuff. Please, if you've made it through this section, let me know what your favorite bath item is. I definitely think for me, I know I said I was gonna leave this at the end, but I can't help myself. It's gonna be the snowball bath bomb, cinnamon roll, bubble bar and actually the North Pole bubble bar. My God, that North Pole one smells so good. Next up, we have a returning one. I bought minis this year because I do have some other shower gels on the go, but we have Snow Fairy shower gel. She's back, small, medium, large, and of course, kilo. So bright pink. You got some glitter on the bottle. If you stand it upside down, the glitter will go all the way down so you can get some sparkles on you. Persian lime oil, synthetic musk. I feel like I'm gonna re-repeat myself all the time for this one. And you get it here, it's five pounds for a small, 10 pounds for a medium, 17 for a large, and 28 for a kilo. I'm still finishing off my kilo from last year. I think I have about this much left. So that's why I've only got a little one because there was no point getting a big one yet until I'd finished that one off. I will more than likely go and get another 500 gram by the time that Christmas has come up. New in this year is Jolly. I think this might be my favorite one out of the two. Um, this one is incredible. I'm just gonna see if you can see how thick it is. So look at that, as you can see it, whoop, you can see it there. This smells so good, I like, so good. So the first thing you smell when you smell this is tangerine oils. When you get this on the skin, you can really smell the citrus tangerine, but then you get this real spice from the clove oil in there come right through. It is super, super lovely, and it's based on traditional advent calendar in Norway, where they would stick cloves into an orange, and every day the children would then take out a clove. So you can definitely smell, or a clementine, um, you can 
can smell that citrusness going through there. You've got in here cinnamon stick and clove infusion. You've got glycerin, water, fresh orange juice, clove bud oil, Brazilian orange oil, tangerine oil. This is super brightening on the skin. If you like orange body scrub, oh my god, these two are going to smell incredible together. Plus your skin is going to look so bright. I'm definitely getting a big bad boy in that. It is £5 for a small, 10 for a medium and 17 for a large. Then we've got another new shower gel. I really like this one as well um, as it's close second. And this is Plum Duff. I don't know why I've taken the lid off but hey ho. So it's a very thick dark purple shower gel. And before you say anything, no. It doesn't have any plums in it. Um, it doesn't have any plums in it at all. And it doesn't smell like plum rain. It is very, it's it's fruity. It's a very subtle fruit smell. You can really smell like the currants in it. Um, it has um, tangerine oil in there. It has raisin infusion. Uh, really full of vitamin C again. So very brightening on the skin. And you've got benzoin resinoid and you've got cedarwood oil and they really add like, a cakiness to it. So if you didn't know, because I didn't know, plum duff is a traditional pudding. Normally made of like suet and, and currants and raisin things like that and it's boiled. Um, I'll put a picture here. They're not the most attractive looking puddings, I will say, um, but neither is a Christmas pudding. And I was kind of thinking, well, where did the origins of, of Plum Duff came from? So I was kind of like on the hunt, like looking up what, pl where Plum Duff kind of came from. It does have like little links to like sailors and uh, being on ships and things like that. And there was a cute story that I think it might be an origin story of the of the of Plum Duff, and that is um, some sailors were from the navy were on voyage around the Christmas period. There was lots of hurricanes and stormy weather's hitting the ship, and lots of food started to go overboard. Obviously, food going overboard, and during Christmas time, the the crew members wanted to feel more at home, uh, wanted to feel more kind of like as if they were you know at Christmas time and so they were demanding <laughs> to have something Christmassy over just their usual kind of rations so a chef or a crewmate found a recipe for this pudding and it called for a stiff dough and in his mind when he was reading the word dough because it was spelt like rough R-O-U-G-H. Ruff is pronounced like Ruff, R-U-F-F. -F. So he was thinking that do was sounded uh, like duff. So, <laughs> it's a little tenuous link here. So when they, when he presented this pudding to everyone on the ship and they cried out, what is it called? He said, plum duff. Which I think is quite cute. I mean, I can't guarantee that that is an accurate story. It's just one of the few that I saw online. And I really liked it. And I thought, that makes sense, Plum Duff. It is a lovely smell. And if you are a fan of Plum Rain, if you're a fan of Junk, Bat Art, uh, The Comforter, it's kind of got that fruitiness to it, but it's a lot more subtle and kind of wintry um, than the other ones. And I really recommend, again, getting it on the skin and, and smelling it. I, I should have got some maybe bowls of water, like a, a little jug of water to uh, try some of these out for you. But I really love Jolly. I really, really, really love Jolly. It's just lovely um, and fresh. So for this one, it's five pounds for a small, 10 pounds for a medium, and 17 for a large. We've got another returning gel. I didn't think it was gonna make the cut this year because obviously they had two new ones. Uh, this is, Yognog is back. That's right. Looks a little bit different to last year and slightly different formula. So it's not as gelatinous and it is more shimmery than metallic than last year's. I finished off my bottle of Yognog, unfortunately, so I can't do any comparisons to last year's. Um, but the shimmer in here is lovely. They've designed it in a way that, so that you can enjoy the sparkle, but without the sparkle sticking to you. Because I know a lot of people don't want the glitter on them. I mean, I do. I like being a disco ball. But it's still got... Oh my god, I can smell it through my nose. That amazing yognog smell of like rich toffee caramel. It's like so yummy and foody. You've got a new ingredient in there this year. You've got um, organic aloe vera. So it's nice and uh, cooling and soothing on the skin if you've got sensitive skin. But it's full of vitamin C and E. 
you've got maple water and you've got glycerin which act as a humectant so they're going to hold and retain that moisture into the skin so it's quite good if you do get dry skin again at Christmas time it'll help keep the flaky scaly bits at bay and then obviously you've got the warming clove bud oil and the heady ylang ylang that just make Yog Nog what it is and I'm very excited it's back in, and because I've got a bottle of the Yog Nog body milk from last Christmas so I can pair that up. It only comes in three sizes this year so no kilo bottles so you've got um, £6 for a little one, £12 for a medium and £20 for the large size. So we've got a couple of soaps this year in slice form. Big Alaska, just like the Jingle Bells uh, bath bomb. So super citrusy, lemon myrtle. You've got this obviously lovely, the green colour that we all know uh, Big Alaska would be. But these colourful uh, kind of cubes poking through. Bit of fun, light, like kind of a bit like Northern Lights running through. Um, and it makes the skin lovely and soft. And it's just a lovely refreshing soap. And that is £5 for the slice. Then we have the Snow Fairy Soap, which I love the look of this, and it's really cute. You can't see um, on this picture, but it says Snow Fairy across the side and the top, which I think is really, really nice uh, touch. But obviously you've got that bright pink star in the middle and the little pink cubes around it. it smells like Snow Fairy, so candy floss, and that is also £5 per slice. I know um, I missed the soap last year, so it's nice that the soap is back. And it looks really creamy and good. I haven't actually had a chance to use it yet, but it looks really, really creamy. Okay, so I did buy one soap this year, and I couldn't not buy it because it's so cute. Oh, look at him! This is Polar Bear, and he's a little bit freckly, my Polar Bear. Super cute. They've kind of changed the design of the, of the bear soap from last year, but... It smells like snow cake. And you know that I'm not that into marzipan smells, but I am obsessed now with snow cake. I literally, in the last few months, snow cake has like, the smell has like taken over my world. I've got a pot of smitten hand cream from the kitchen that I'm just obsessed with and I just take the tiniest bit out with. So if you like marzipan, if you love that kind of Christmas smell, then the polar bear soap, hands down. It's five pounds for one piece. I want to know why he's freckly. He's got his, oh, there we go. He's got oat milk in him, fair trade organic cocoa butter, extra virgin coconut oil, organic castor oil, soya yogurt, benzoin resin oil, rose absolute, almond essential oil, cassie absolute. This is perfect for someone with sensitive skin. Maybe if they're vegan as well and they don't want to have um, honey, I wash the kids, or if they don't want sleepy, they want a different smell. Absolutely, it's adorable and it smells so, so good. Look at his little face. Come on, absolutely unreal. And just smells amazing. I'm gonna pop him in his bag. So that's what? We've got three bears, four bears this year. Butter bear, sleepy bear, polar bear, and then mini butter bear on the thing. Yeah, four bears this year. We're very, very berry uh, this year. I'm gonna pop that there. And then, not a, not a shower gel, not a soap, but we do have a shower jelly this year. And this is Snow Cake. It's three shower jellies in one. It does tell you down the side uh, what the smells are. So you've got almond, toffee, and cherry. I'm gonna open this up so that you can see, and I'm gonna take each one out. It smells so good, it's 11 pounds. So you're getting three shower jellies for 11 pounds. So they come like this, and then pretty much all the smells together smell a little bit like, make it smell like snow cake. So this smells exactly like almond blossom. Almond blossom shower gel. Loads of almond oil in there. You've got almond milk as well. Very soothing on the skin. It feels amazing. This layer is toffee. Oh my God, this layer is so punchy. This one smells quite boozy um, and my friend Jojo at work, she said that this reminds her of Dooley's, you know the drink? So really boozy toffee, absolutely delicious and it's this absolutely gorgeous metallic gold. I don't know how well the camera's picking up how insane the gold is on it. It smells so so good. But my hands down, my favourite layer, which is always the way when it's your favourite layer, is the smallest layer. This is cherry. And it's literally like cherry, 
like steeped cherries, like boozy steeped cherries, di serrano, with a little bit of cherry bake well in there. It is so bloody good and I swear to God, I wish I could eat this like so bad. Um, it's so fresh and like I say, boozy and cherry fine and just delicious. And um, there's something for everyone. So if you wanted to share this with like, you know, some of your family members or your partner, there's stuff for different moods and different scent preferences, apps, you know, within this, it's unreal. And um, I'm gonna go wash my hands, I'm gonna be right back. So that is that there. And don't forget, obviously, with your pots and your bottles, for everyone that you bring in clean and empty, you get 50 pence off at the till. This is a UK uh, bring it back scheme. The old scheme where you just bring back your five clean empty black or clear pots also stands across the, the world as well. So if you're watching in a different country, hopefully they'll bring out the new money off scheme soon where you are. We've got two shower bombs. We've got silver bells and we've got Rudolph. Uh, Rudolph is a returning one from last year. It smells a little bit like um, Cherry Bakewells or the Cherry Blossom Bubble Bar if you got that from Oxford Street. Some people got a bit of cyanide pill from that as well. It's $2.95. It's a lovely little foaming uh, shower bomb. I'll tell you about how to use it in a second because I want to talk about Silver Bells. Silver Bells is bigger and thicker than all the other shower bombs that have came out in, in Christmases and launches past. It is big and um, it's a brand new smell for Christmas you've got uplifting the Rolly and Clary Sage oils so this is really good if you do get a bit like schlumpy over the over the winter months because you know there's the dark nights coming in things like that that neroli is is scientifically proven to boost serotonin in the brain it is such a mood enhancer and especially with shower bombs because with the scent getting encapsulated in the steam the neroli oil is fantastic that it's been put in there. You do also have some warming clove butter oil in there as well, but I just wanted to mention that the shower bombs for Christmas have been reformulated and they have potato starch in them, so they have a much more luxurious and creamy lather. Now, because obviously Silver Bells is, is quite much bigger, it's about this big. I, I don't know how well you can work this out from on camera, but the, it just is a, it's a comparison, like the the height difference of like the Rudolph is like that, because it looks like a Rudolph nose. The Silver Bell is tall and it's and it's got, and it's wide as well. Um, shower bombs are like a, a one use item, so if you finish washing your body with them, put them at the bottom of the shower and let that scent, like I said before, get stuck in the steam, it's gonna really boost your mood. Um, they feel really good. I know if you've tried maybe like the sleepy shower bomb, um, or the um, comfort zone shower bomb, they have like a bit of a scrub to them. This has got a finer kind of feeling to it and I think that's from the bicarb. It's just a lovely smell and it's definitely one to get on the skin and try out and it's 350 because it is bigger. Um, so give give them a try. If you don't have a bath but you want something special and pampering, um, then go for that, definitely. Now, talking about special and pampering, when I seen that this was coming out, I nearly wet me, I guess. Love the smell so much. It's one of my favorite smells of all time for Christmas, bar celebrate, and this is Golden Pear. Golden Pear, oh my God, it smells so good. It's out only in the spawn this year. It's only as a body scrub, which obviously I'm quite sad about because I did want the body spray. So no body spray this year, spoiler alert. It's six pounds and it is a beautiful scrub. It has fine and coarse sea salt in there to give you a nice polish. It has um, cocoa butter and kapawachu butter to replenish the skin. So after you've scrubbed away all that dead skin cells, it's gonna get the moisture in there. But it feels like, when you use it, because I've, I've, I've used it in, in the shop, it feels like how cherryish or acne marabla's felt. You know that milky hydration? So it's not as heavy as buffy or scrubby, but it gives you the scrub, it gives you the moisture, but you don't have that really kind of heavy layer of, of, of cocoa butter on the skin. It is unreal. It actually has a little bit of pop and candy in there, which I think is a bit fun, but they've included prickly pear powder and pear powder in there. Obviously a little nod to obviously it being golden pear, but if you didn't know, prickly pear, prickly pear contains around about 145% more vitamin A in it than argan oil. So if you like the argan facial, facial oil serum, you'll enjoy the, the feeling of 
what the golden pear will do so vitamin e is fantastic for softening the skin so really recommend that um, and it's just it smell it makes your mouth water if i could uh, champion a shower product over over jolly shower gel and obviously snow fairy because i am basic i love snow fairy um, it would be golden pear shower scrub oh mm, so good <laughs> don't do that again <laughs> Um, then of course you've got snow fairy body conditioner and um, my pot is clear but this year they have got them in black pots and it will stop it fading I don't know how well you can see it but I've had my next to a window and it had started to fade and um, give it a stir up and it's back to normal again again it smells like snow fairy uh, candy floss smell uh, they do have it in a naked form and in a potted form and like I say the new style is in black pots it just pops more with that bright pink label on it you've got in here cherry infusion glycerin almond oil organic jojoba oil you've got avocado butter mango butter fair trade organic cocoa butter and Persian lime oil with your synthetic musk so if you've never used a body conditioner before you have a wash with your shower gel and you smooth it onto damp skin and you just leave it a soak in for as long as you want the longer the better the more hydration you're going to get and then you're just going to rinse off the excess and then you pat your skin dry and you get your clothes on it's great for people like myself who don't really like the feeling of body lotions because like when you go to put your pajamas on or your clothes on you kind of get that snagging feeling if you can do it all in the shower and get lovely soft skin it's fab it's also fantastic after you've shaved your legs oh my god your legs have never felt so soft now if you want the packaging free alternative this is richer in butters if your skin is very dry go for the packaging free one it is preserved with more butters so it is richer in feeling and you just literally think of like a massage bar you just smooth it over the damp skin whilst you're holding it and then leave it a soak in it's kind of like the end of the shower routine i might only have to maybe rinse off my conditioner um but it's fantastic so it comes in three sizes this year you've got nine for a small 16 for a medium and then you've got the big jumbo pots this year for 27 pounds and then you've got the solid one for nine pounds and then don't forget to follow it up with fairy dust I'm going to sprinkle some out onto my skin so this is a dusting powder you use it in exactly the same way as the silky underwear or the fair um, or the sleepy dust dusting powder you just sprinkle it onto the skin but this actually has I'm going to put some more on why not this actually has oh my god it smells so good it has a shimmer to it which isn't showing up there but it has a light gold to pink shift it smells incredible so if you do get a little bit of chafing if you get a bit of chub rub if you get a bit hot and sweaty throw this in your gym bag it'll keep you nice and mattified keep you smelling sweet and obviously adds a bit of sparkle it's great on a night out as well and um, before you go out if you just want a dusting of something nice and light and airy it just smells really good you've got cornstarch in there you've got persian lime oil and of course your synthetic musk with things like your synthetic flora floyd guide flora 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 guide and um, essentially your sparkles which i've just said really weird and that is 750 now it wouldn't be christmas and it wouldn't be me and it wouldn't be a like a haul video if uh, there wasn't lip scrubs and there's two lip scrubs this year coming out for christmas we've got golden pineapple lip scrub and it's got a holographic gold label i am obsessed anything with hollow one i'm obsessed with and it smells so freaking good it's actually got a sp you can't see but it actually has a little bit of a sparkle in it as well so as well as obviously hydrating lips tasting really good it gives you a little bit of sparkle. So I'm going to scoop some out and I'm just going to eat it because I've got lipstick on. So, oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's got some tang in it. It's a little bit tangy. Mmm. So, oh god. That tastes so good. You've got caster sugar, organic jojoba oil, you've got fair trade shea butter, golden caster sugar. Um, you've got ginger absolute, yellow mandarin oil, lavage root oil, pineapple powder, citric acid, mmm, and titanium dioxide. Right, one more. Mmm, no, one more. Mmm, oh my god, why is it tangy? Mmm, but the pineapple powder actually exfoliates the lips as well. 
Oh my god. And obviously the ginger oil will warm the lips, a little bit stimulating, so it's good for a uh, plumping. Then we've got a returning one. This is $5.95. And then we've got a returning one. This is Galaxy Lip Scrub. Who remembers this from a couple of Christmases ago? I'm going to just open it straight up so you can see it. Um, this is so good. Oh, it smells like blue raspberry. It smells like slushies. It smells like, even though we're in Christmas, it smells like summer holidays. It smells super nostalgic. This smells like it's going to be sour. I'm just, I'm just got something. I'm just trying to scoop it up. It's making my mouth water. Oh, ooh, ooh, ooh. Then it kind of tastes like Palmer violets. Mmm, that is so unusual. That goes from like blue raspberry slushies to almost like Palmer violets. Hang on, but does it make my tongue blue? <gasps> it's made my tongue blue. <laughs> Uh, it's got caster sugar, organic jojoba oil, fair trade shea butter, cold pressed raspberry seed oil, you've got butchu oil, lemon myrtle oil, tolu, tolu balsam. What I will say is, is that if your lips get very dry over the Christmas period, um, always pick a seasonal lip scrub over an all year round one because they have more butters in. Though I will say that they've started to include more more kind of moisturising ones in like cookie dough, cherry, I think even the watermelon one are, are on that moisture side. Um, but typically the seasonal ones are more moisturising. That is also 5 95 Next we have some new skincare. So obviously nearly every year it's Boosted Noel. This year it's something different. Yeah, this is, I'm just gonna roll this down. It is naked, and this is lemon aid, as in like aid to help. And it smells like like a uh, almost like carrot cake. It smells really good. I don't know how well you can see like the topping. It looks like something that you would get from like the bakery or a very expensive chocolate shop. You know, like if you went to Fenix department store and you got some fancy chocolates from the display. So it is nine pounds for the roll and it contains kaolin, ground almonds, glycerin, tahini, uh, fresh carrot, fresh lemon zest, icing sugar, fair trade organic cocoa butter, fresh lemon peel, sitting lemon oil and some water. I've tried this on the back of my hand and it is so creamy. It makes the skin so soft and smooth and glowy. It's lovely and you, your hand feels hydrated and soft but not weighed down. So the tahini oil, I don't know why I said that in a really weird, the tahini oil and the ground almonds is what makes it lovely and milky and just gentle and just delicious. This would be paired up really nicely with skin drink because it has sesame seed oil in it. So if you have very dry skin or again affected by winter skin, these two would be paired up lovely and I'm very excited to see it. And I, again, I don't know how well you can see, but it's a nice big, oops, it's a nice big chunks of cocoa butter on there, right, right there. Nice big chunks of cocoa butter. We've got Snow Fairy Body Spray. Yep, let's just get misting in here. Back again. I'm going to be getting about three or four more of these bad boys. I have been so liberal with my spring over the past year. I think again with that like you know, lockdown vibes, I've been making sure that I've been putting on fragrance um, to kind of like lift my mood and if I'm ha and, like kind of change it with how the day is. But I've been really enjoying the snow fairy like smell just all over me. It's kind of for smelling and it is 20 pounds. Now, let me tell you about a fragrance that I've, I've had too much sugar. I have had too much sugar, I, I apologise. But I am so hyped for this. So hyped for Jilted Elf Body Spray. <laughs> yes. I am obsessed with Jilted Elf smell. More things should smell like Jilted Elf. They should have a body lotion and a body scrub. I would die for all those things. But I love Jilted Elf Body Spray. It's got, again, these lovely new misters. Oh, it smells so good. It is like a drunken fruit cocktail, like a boozy night out. It is fruity, it is boozy, it is fresh, but it's got some depth to it. It's just, 
a really unusual smell and if you if my description is 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 a bit odd i would really recommend going in on on tomorrow on launch day and smelling it because it's it is an unusual smell but it's moorish and it's very addictive and it's one of those ones where you you want to just spray it all the time it is a top you be kind of a, a smell like you want to top it up all the time it is just delicious it's 20 pounds You've got in here cinnamon leaf oil, ginger oil, grapefruit oil, osmanthus absolute. It, it's got a spice to it, but like the cinnamon oil doesn't like overpower or anything like that. It is just really, really, really just the best smell ever. So if you like Snow Fairy, but you want something a little bit different, go for Jilted Elf. I will say right now that Celebrate Body Spray is also not coming out this year. It is only coming out to Asia. So if you're over in, in Asian countries, you're a dead jammy and I'm really jealous because I like Celebrate uh, Body Spray. I would like a bottle, please. <laughs> and returning this year, bing, is fresh as perfume. You've got it in a 30ml bottle, a 100ml bottle, a solid perfume and a wash card as well. Um, fresh as is literally like walking through a winter wonderland like forest. It is earthy, it's full of pine needle oil, uh, benzoin resinoid, orris oil, fir needle absolute, tattoo oil. I know someone who will be watching this video who it will be very happy that Fresh Ash has come back. And if you think to yourself, well, I'm trying to envision what Fresh Ash would smell like. It smells like Rad Dad Shower Gel from this year, from Father's Day, or very close to, if not the same as, uh, Needles and Pine Shower Jelly from a few years ago. It is so piney and wintry and just delicious. Um, it's a fantastic smell. And then you've got the 30 mil is 50 pounds. Sorry, the 30 mil is 25 pounds. The 100 mil is 50 pounds. The solid perfume is 10 pounds and the wash card is two pounds. So if you're a bit unsure, um, get yourself a little wash card to see how it wears on your skin. They're only two pounds and you get about two goes out of them if you split them in half. I know some people like to wash their hair with them because it makes the hair smell absolutely lovely. What I'm going to do is I'm going to leave the knot wraps in with the gifts because you use it for gifting. So can you believe that is everything everything so far if you keep an eye out over the next couple of days i'm going to be talking through the gifts and the knot wraps as well but that is everything yeah what was your favorite thing mine right oh what was my favorite thing i think my favorite bath bomb is going to be snowball then hey hollywood my favorite bubble bar is going to be cinnamon roll then north pole hands down god that north pole was so good jolly then snow fairy jilted elf i'm sorry snow fairy but jilted elf you've, you've stole my heart this year and golden pineapple lip scrub i'm i'm i've been doing i've been recording this video for what feels like an eternity so i do apologize i have gone a bit loopy um i need to take some more medicine for my nose um but yeah please let me know what you think of all the all the bath stuff all the shower stuff all the sprays and fragrances and please keep an eye out um for the upcoming videos of everything else i can't wait to see what you all get i can't wait to hear what you think of everything and what you what you love what your what bath cocktails you're gonna make if you want to I can because I, I do owe you bath cocktails for Halloween I know I do so I'm gonna get that up soon but if you want some bath cocktail ideas including all year round and Christmas let me know down below if you like this video give it a little thumbs up and of course if you really liked it you can subscribe to the channel we have pretty much there to 2,000 um, subscribers so thank you so much to everyone who has joined so far and for everyone who has been here with me over well the last the, the last couple of years particularly but from the very beginning thank you very much yeah i'm gonna go make some food now and take some medicine and lie down maybe have a bath <laughs> but i'll see you next video okay enjoy enjoy all the stuff bye